My name is Kayong. I'm from Malaysia, so uh, actually I came to study in Singapore since secondary one under a scholarship, so up to JC A levels here in Singapore. I'm currently 22 years old this year, um, from NUS Business School, taking the BBA, um, and I'm also an investor. Returns has been so far profitable, as in, in my personal opinion, it's um, slightly better than what I actually expected. As I invested roughly about 3,400 USD in total, um, and my current account size is about um, 12 to 13k. So, in terms of the returns, it's um, rather more than I expected in such a short period of time. My interest started with uh, having, as in, at first, having the need to actually um, source for additional income to finance my daily expenses and my living allowance in Singapore. So I actually started off working part-time and then um, didn't really like the office. They daily work like 9 to 5, you have a fixed working hours. So I actually went to Google online, um, like alternative source of income that you can get, you know, working online and such. So that's where I got exposed to trading, um, forex trading at first. My first broker and I'm still currently using is actually eToro. So it's actually a platform where people can actually share their investing knowledge with other traders. Um, I started uh, only on foreign exchange, uh, mainly the Euro, the USD, um, the Australian and uh, as well as Yen, uh, the Japanese Yen. So um, recently I started moving, expanding it into um, commodities like gold and silver as well as uh, indexes. I haven't really started learning so I was just simply following traders and copying traders. So that was the, that was the period where my account grew up to 1k and then it crashes back to $100. So after that, then that's where I know oh, trading can make you money but you need to understand and know what you're doing. So that after that is when I really started reading and learning more about it. How I started off and learning is actually uh, through online resources, um, websites, uh, PDFs as well as uh, library books. Uh. So I actually read, read up quite a bit to understand about trading and such. Um, and then after that, it's, it's when I met this uh, so-called mentor, this unofficial mentor that, uh, who is very willing to share with me his, his method, um, how he trades actually. Um, it was then um, I actually studied more about his strategy. So it's actually based on volume spread analysis. This strategy was founded by Tom Williams. So um, after reading his book, I found that uh, this strategy actually fits my personality and in terms of timing and such. So that's the strategy that I'm intending to stick with, uh, improve on it. In terms of how I'm performing currently, uh, I guess in terms of the short-term goal um, ex uh, as in financing my daily expenses and money rent, I'm able to achieve that currently. Um, but in terms of paying back the tuition loan, I guess um, hopefully within three years when I graduate, just nice. Um, and then of course for the longer term, um, quite hard to say, uh, maybe another five to ten years. I guess the, the idea is to really start. Um, start now and take action so um, and never to give up uh, because uh, in the financial market sometimes it can be tough um, every traders or investor will actually experience that but um, the idea is to never give up and to to actually learn from it and know what you're doing uh. so in the long term i'm sure that uh, you'll be profitable <laughs> I think uh, one has to understand that forex trading uh, uh, gives you the ability to earn super, no super normal profits because of leverage but at the same time you must remember it also uh, has the ability to take away those profits very quickly because it's leverage. So leverage can be a double-aided sort which one has to be very careful of. Uh, studies have showed that basically it's a 90-10 or even 80-20 rule whereby you know 80% of people, 90% of people lose money in forex only 10% make. 
For instance, the forex market was a very difficult place at a certain period of time over the past couple of years, whereby it was really hard to make money. Um, but, but for example, over the past couple of months, dollar yen had moved up in one straight line from maybe 85 yen all the way to about 100 over yen. So it allowed people who caught onto that particular trend to make a lot of money. But it doesn't really happen every year. So the question now is, 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 is are there trends, are there, are there moves in the forex market which, which will allow you to create those kind of super normal profits year after year after year after year. But at the same time, I think people should also start to think about this is really short term. Um, maybe I should take some money out of here whenever I make uh, gains and put it into something which is more permanent, more long term, a bit more safer. Because the tendency also is because of the adrenaline rush, people tend to concentrate on this and forget that you know, maybe I should be saving some of my profits, for example, uh, in something more, more safer. You move down the, the scale of volatility, you move into things like stocks and shares, unit trust and, and, and so on. Even, even, and you move further, further down, you get endowments from the insurance side. And so, so I think a little bit of money here and there would actually uh, save for a rainy day in case something happens uh, in, the, in the forex environment whereby, take for example, you lose a lot of money and, and at least when you look back and you say, oh, I've, at least I've got savings in here, here and here, which helps me to deal with that particular situation.